In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in a Mark III 1.6 diesel Ford Focus. So here is the airflow sensor cable, I think. So you pull up on the little red tab and then you press the black part in and that releases the clip. And then a bit further back is a little cable clip that you just have to pop off. Only a little plastic thing, you could probably pull it off with just your hands, but I'm using the screwdriver for ease. Then there's this little pipe that just pulls off the back of the mass airflow thing. Just tuck it out of the way and then unscrew the pipe so it loosens off like this. This bit is a bit dirty, so that's why I'm wearing a glove. I'm not sure why it's so dirty, but there you go. And on the front of the air box is this rubber little clip just pull that up and over so it's out of the way and then towards the back here there are these two cables one of them looks like it was rubbing a little bit on the corner so i'm not sure why that is i'll put a bit of duct tape around it now so just undo those two little pipes and then the whole thing should be loose now so you should be able to just work it off with the th i think it's like three bungs just keep wiggling it until it pops off. So ooh, that bit's just there you go. So that's the air box done out the way. There's a few leaves in there, so I'm just gonna shake them out. This is what it looks like without the air box. This cable, a lot of the videos, people take that cable on the front off, but I've just left it because I don't see the point. Then using my little there's 10 mil socket set to remove the positive. I'll just bend it out of the way so it's and then I think this is also a 10 mil. I've used a long socket piece so it can get over the bolt without it getting stuck. So undo these two nuts. I left this one sort of half on, just loosened off so it can get over the top of the battery. And this one I'm going to take completely off. Make sure you don't drop it. Put that somewhere safe. And then you can just lift this bracket up and over and just move it out of the way so you can get to the battery more easy or easier, shall I say. And this little front part of the battery box just lifts up and then the two pieces either side sort of push out. So you've got, it's a bit hard to do it one-handed. Just, well, I'm probably struggling, but if you can just pull the front and then push the sides out, it will just push out. So if you remove that cable on the front, you could probably fold the front of the battery box down a bit easier, but I couldn't be bothered to get it off, it was a bit of a fat. And then pull the battery forward, make sure you don't squash the cables underneath too much. And then you can use this, I've already loosened it off as you can see, but just for the video, I've put it on there. So loosen that negative terminal, wiggle it off, chuck it out of the way, and now you can remove the battery. This is my new one. I've just taken the caps off and chuck up my old one. Get my new one ready. Now it's like a reverse. So the battery's in, put the negative terminal on, tighten it up, move the bracket back over, tighten the little nuts up, and find the other one. I put it somewhere sort of safe. I recommend wearing gloves, but because I was using my phone every so often to make this video, it was easier just to get my hands a bit dirty. So. Tighten that little screw up, nut up, whatever you want to call it. Then you can get your socket on it again to tighten it up properly. I think it's 10 mil. 
it's only a small little nut. So yeah, put it back on the two nuts and tighten it up. I've already done it. And then chuck that down there. And then this is the front part. I just slots down. You sort of like line it up with the two sides and then just push it down and it, I think it goes back better than it does coming out. And then put the positive on. You're probably meant to attach the positive first and then do the negative, but I couldn't be bothered. Tighten it up. Nice and tight so it doesn't come loose. And then you want to put this air box back in. So it's got three locations. One there, one there, and a metal one. I think it was metal, it might be plastic at the front. And then it's just a case of lining it up. Remove the little rubber flap for the air intake box so you can get it in properly and then push it into the holes. Jobs are good. Un. Then these pipes, I don't know, that little bracket there keeps rubbing, so you can see my duct tape I put on there just to give it that extra bit of life. I'm not sure it's going to do much, if anything, but there you go. Reattach the pipe, and then use your screwdriver to tighten it back up again. Righty tighty. that on the floor then this is like vacuum pipe thing that just slides back over pretty straightforward and then you want to find the plug for the sensor just pop that little plastic thing back in the hole then that just clips back in it's pretty easy and secure and that is pretty much it. You just got to put the covers back on now. I've put the rear one on, so I've just slid it to the back and then clips in. Then line up the front part of the cover and clip it in place. And that is it. Thanks for watching.